spent last night at Camp 1, which is at the top of the ice wall, and had a really good night because I was on oxygen. So I set out um, about half an hour before Kenton uh, to give me <coughs> some lead um, from Camp 1 up towards Camp 2. And I kept really slow plodding and uh, was overtaken by dozens of Sherpas who were in the act of establishing uh, Camp 2. I found it fine going until uh, a couple of ladders. Um, I was by myself going over one ladder and looked down probably about 100 feet. Uh, <coughs> and the ladder started swerving from side to side under my crampons, which I didn't like very much, but uh, there were only two ladders of that nature, which was a lot better than the previous day and eventually got to see the orange tents of Camp 2, which is a great sight. But there was a long way to go and got steeper and steeper, and narrower and narrower, and uh, rock spill and ice spill coming down from the cliffs immediately above the camp. It feels it's a rather risky place to be in. However, it, it was great to get into Camp 2, and it's slightly different to Camp 1 because the Sherpas have established uh, bigger tents for cooking, tent for our group to eat communally instead of camp one where you just eat out of a bag, two of you in one tent. We're going to stay up here for the rest of today and the whole of tomorrow purely in order to acclimatize, that's what it's all about, and then go back down to base camp.